Well, it wouldn't be the Halo scene if we went more than a week without some tasty drama. And today's flavor is whether we should be using the BR or the pistol as the starting weapon for competitive in Infinite. This tweet from Frosty, saying that he had hoped to see the H5 pistol make a return, had people clamoring to reply in order to either praise him as having 200 IQ, or, just as frequently, saying that the pistol had run its course and it was time to return to the BR. Unfortunately for us, history doesn't really help us in determining which one should be used because it's usually based on the game itself. CE had the borderline OP Magnum, H2 and 3 then switched to the BR, Reach had the DMR, and H5 then reverted back to the pistol as the starting weapon. So, what should we be using for Infinite? While we go over the pros and cons of both, it's important to remember that the only hands-on gameplay experience we have is a several months old early access build, and it's extremely likely that things have or will change before launch. Overall, I mean, it's a tech preview, guys. We, we, you can't expect anything, like, to be completely polished. Yeah, I, I, think, I think the BR is gonna be the starting weapon. I'm gonna try to use the BR this whole game. I think the BR is 100% gonna be the starting weapon for competitive. With that being said, let's get into the arguments for both. Starting with the pistol, the main argument you'll generally see is that it takes more skill to use. A combination of less aim assist and a shorter optimal range means that the main skill gap from the pistol comes from target acquisition with the game doing very little to help the player out. On the other hand, the preview version of the pistol actually had an optimal time to kill that was about 0.45 seconds faster than the BR. This means that if you had two players shooting at each other, one with each weapon, and they started at the same time and landed every shot, the pistol would actually kill faster. Now time to kill isn't everything, but it does have to be taken into account nonetheless. Lastly, the version of the sidekick that was available during the preview had bloom, meaning that it's possible to have your reticle on an opponent's head and still have all your bullets outline them like a carnival skit. Moving on to the BR, the main argument you'll get is that because it was well balanced during the preview with a lot less magnetism than the other BRs that 343 has given us, that we should return to using that as the primary competitive weapon. It's the classic gun that people associate with Halo, it looks cool, and it is damn fun to use. However, there is no denying that at least during the preview, it was far easier to use than the pistol was. Because of that, the main skill gap that comes from the BR is the ability to keep your reticle on target for a longer period of time, as opposed to more of the flick style aiming that happens with the pistol. Perfect! This might change when all eight players start with a BR though, as opposed to trying to contend with one across map with a weapon that isn't designed for it. So wrapping things up, barring any changes, it looks like the pistol is going to be the more difficult weapon to use out of the two. However, the current version of it does have bloom, and that was a battle that was fought over 10 years ago during the Halo Reach era. The BR, on the other hand, still isn't exactly a gimme weapon. It is still a skill weapon at its core and has the advantage of the nostalgia factor. However, it does have a longer effective range and felt easier to use during the preview. BR is going to be fun though, man. BR is going to be really fun. 18 and 1, BR most of the game. BR is going to be a good, a good time for competitive. So that's what the debate's over. This may all end up being moot in about a month or two after the next technical preview, but that's what the latest controversy in the Halo scene was about. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter at Paradise underscore Halo. Let us know what you think of this debate down in the comments, and we'll see you guys next time.